Hey, hey, Mr. Herod, I'm here. We're going to do some practicing with conjugate pairs. Okay? Here we go. Now, asses and bases do not quite fit the normal format. They behave like asses and bases. It comes down to the question, will I accept a proton or will I donate a proton? Remember, those were based off of the Bronston. Oh, my goodness. You can't see that color. <laughs> Try again, Mr. Herd. Bronston. Lowry definitions, right? Conjugate acids and conjugate bases, they're based off of the definitions of Bronston Lowry. Okay. So most of the time when we do Bronston Lowry theory, it's I can find as an acid base. If it loses an H plus or an acid if it loses an H plus, it's an acid. If it gains an H plus, it's a base. Undergoing this process, we end up forming conjugate pairs. Okay. There is such a thing called a conjugate base. Okay. Conjugate bases are always on the product side. Okay. It is when an acid, which is on the reactant side, loses like a total loser of H plus. Like Oh my goodness. Acid like to lose H plus. And they go to conjugate bases. Okay? Conjugate acids here, they are also on the product side. Okay? This is what happens when a base, which is a reactant, It gains an H plus. Bases are winners. They gain H plus. Okay? These always differ by one proton. Okay? If something's losing H plus, something's gaining H plus. You know, kind of like if the Dallas Cowboys win the game and they play the Philadelphia Eagles, I guess the Philadelphia Eagles lost. Same thing here. Okay? So. There we go. And the conjugates will always be on the product side. So let's look at example 8.1 here. Identify the acid, identify the base, identify the conjugate base and the conjugate acid in the following processes. Okay. There is gonna be one of each of these. Okay. So the first thing I look at is I figure out which ones match. So for instance here, what I see here is HO2, H2O H two O and OH minus match. Okay? They are very close to each other. To go from H2O to OH, you have to lose H plus. So in this example here, the water is an acid. Acids go to conjugate bases. Then we look at the PO3 and the HPO4 minus 2. Here you can see that PO4 minus 3 and HPO4 minus 2, you've actually gained an H plus. Which makes this. PO4 minus 3, the base, because it's on the reactant side. And bases go to conjugate acids. And my conjugates are on the product side. Okay. Okay. So this next one here, I see HSO4 minus and H2SO4. Those must match because those are very similar to each other. So to go from HSO4 minus to H2SO4, you must have gained an H plus. Since you are gaining an H plus, that is a winner. This must be a base. Bases go to 
conjugate acids. And I didn't write CA properly, but that's okay. That's a conjugate acid. Let's look at the other pair here. And the other pair. H3PO4, H2PO4 minus. This is going to lose an H plus because we went from H3 to H2. Notice it also went to a minus. That's why you lost a plus. So H3PO4 must be an acid. Acids are total lasers of H plus. Total lasers. Acids go to conjugate bases. Conjugates are always on the product side. Okay. Let's see here. We'll do this one a little faster. HCN, CN minus. I can see right here we are losing H plus. So HCN must be an acid. Acids go to conjugate bases. So that must mean here that this is going from CH3 NH2 to CH3 NH3 3 plus. This must be a base. Bases gain H plus to go to conjugate acids. Okay. Good fun there. Yeah. Okay. On to the next page. Page five. Okay. Determine the conjugate pairs for the following. Okay, here we go on this. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're starting off with bases and we're going to conjugate acids. This must mean we lose H plus. Okay? No, we don't. That's a lie, Mr. Hiram. Bases gain. This is why you make the weird voices, Mr. Hiram, so you remember this stuff. See, that's the problem with some of these units at the end here. If you get the stuff backwards, you get everything wrong and it's not good. You know, so yeah. Bases gain H plus because bases are winners and they go to conjugate acids, okay? So we're going to add H plus to NH3. So this is gonna be NH4 plus, which is really ammonium, right? Remember that polyatomic ion ammonium? It's a derivative of ammonia, which is NH3. Because this is zero, zero goes to plus. Okay, CH three two NH. Okay, so now you have to understand where the most acidic hydrogens are on the compound. They're never with the C's. Don't add H's with the C's. You have to add them where the N's are. This has a charge of zero, so we're going to leave the CH three two alone because that is not an acidic hydrogen. This one is though. So this is gonna be NH2 plus. Sulfate ion. Sulfate ion is SO4 two minus. So if we're going to add H plus, we're gonna have H SO4, and then minus two goes up one to minus one, because these go up one in charge. Zero to plus one, zero to plus one, negative two to negative one. And then water is H2O, so we're gonna get H3O plus. You remember that's hydronium, right? Of course you do. Okay, it's H3O plus. H3O does not exist. Okay, now we get to the fun side here. The side I like doing better, acids. This is where we lose H plus. So these go down one in charge. Okay, give you a second to write that down. NH3 is charge is zero because that's a compound, because all compounds have a charge of zero. So if we lose an H plus, we're going to go down to NH2, then the charge goes down to negative one. 
H2PO4, this is going to lose an H plus, so we're going to go down to HPO4. This is minus 1, so we're going to go down another one. That's going to go down to negative 2. Nitric acid, hopefully you remember nitric acid is HNO3. We are going to lose an N, uh, H plus here. So we're going to go to NO3, and we're going to go down in charge to minus 1. Remember, that's nitrate. And then H2O, we're going to lose an H plus, and we're going to go to OH minus. Remember, that's hydroxide. We don't write HO. Hydroxide's OH. Okay. Sample 8.3. Here we go. Good fun, this one. Okay, let's see if we can do this really quick here. Okay. Fill in the following chart with the appropriate partner. Okay. Bases go to conjugate acids. Acids go to conjugate bases. Okay. And I don't like that color. And yeah, we'll do this all in black. We might as well. Okay. So for this one, we're going to cross out this. We're going to cross out that. This one, we're going to cross out this. And we're going to cross out that. This one, we're going to cross out this. Cross out that. For this one, we're going to cross out this. And then we're going to cross out that. And this one, we're going to cross out this. And cross out that. Now, here's what you have to realize here. Ready? As is the conjugate basis, we're going to lose H plus, right? To go from conjugate bases to acids, you're going to have to gain H plus to go backwards. Okay. Bases to conjugate acids, you're going to gain H plus. To go from conjugate acids to bases, you have to lose H plus. So this first one here, we are going to lose H plus. So this goes to F minus. Okay, the bicarbonate ion, remember bicarbonate ion is HCO3 minus. Okay. Bases gain H plus here. So we're going to gain H plus to go over to this side. So this is going to be H2CO3. H2SO4 to go to a conjugate base, acids lose H plus. So we're going to take away an H, so that's HSO4, and then we're going to go down one in charge. It's going to be HSO4 minus. Because HSO4, HSO4 minus is the only one that exists. HSO4 neutral does not exist. Cyanide is CN minus. That's on the polyatomic ion list. We're going to gain H plus here. So this is going to go to HCN. And then finally here, we're going from H2PO4 minus 1. We're going to go to lose, but yeah, because this is an acid, acids lose H plus. So we're going to go to HPO4, and we have to go down another one in charge, so that's going to be negative 2. Okay, that's where we'll stop this video for today. You guys are champions. The legend is out.